Uh, so welcome back to this series of videos looking at books um, related to railways, railway modelling, uh, things like this. Um, something rather different to, to last time. Um, we've got an Eye of the Engine storybook. So this goes back um, to early on in my childhood. Um, I don't remember not ever having this book. Um, it was probably given to me, uh, possibly by my grandma, I don't know, she'd often pick up um, books she used to help at a, a charity um, sale place um, and um, would often come back with, with books and things. Um, so I'm not quite sure. Um, I mean, this was, you know, the book I think was published in uh, 1982. I would have been two, three. Um, so I'm not sure whether it was, was new to me or, as I say, um, picked up by, by somebody secondhand. Anyway, as I say, it's it's something I've always had. So I've probably looked at this more than I've um, than I've actually seen the, the cartoons, for instance. Um, although I do have those on 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 dvd uh, and um, i've enjoyed watching them again more recently with my uh, with my sons um if you've not seen either the engine before um and you've been used to just thomas the tank engine um do yourself a favor treat yourself um either go have a look on youtube or, or buy the buy the dvd and really enjoy um either the engine so either the engine is the um as, as i say most of you will probably know but it's the little um kind of industrial um, loco um, from the top left hand corner of Wales um, has a personality like like Thomas but isn't kind of speaking um, like Thomas it's just more of the way he kind of acts and behaves um, but includes um, being in the in the local choral society uh, when he gets a set of um, a set of pipes um, and this book I mean obviously there's lots and lots of cartoons well um, a few quite a few cartoons um, I think it's about 26 across the two um, two colour series. Uh, this book <coughs> contains just four um, four stories. So you've got the first story, which is where he um, he goes back his daily kind of his daily work, uh, delivering coal to the gas works and, and things like that. Um, but gets upset hearing the Coral Society, and eventually um, by the end of the by the end of the story, is ended up fitted with a set of um, organ pipes from a uh, from a fairground. Um, so that he can sing with the sing with the choir. Um, as I say, just lovely, charming, charming stories. Nothing um, very different to some of the other kind of um, railway kind of books and stories. Um, so yes, yeah, so there we are with him, nice and happy, singing and singing in the choir. Um, we then have a, a second story, snowdrifts. <coughs> um, it's obviously winter, lots of snow. Everything's closed, including the railway. Um, so they end up having to find a snowplow, um, rescuing sheep, all sorts of other random bits and pieces. Um, we then have um, a story called The Elephant. Um, in the TV episodes, I think this is referred to as The Visitor. Um, it's the one story, or one of the stories, that's not aged um, as well. Um, the the elephant keeper um, and the portrayal um, isn't necessarily what we would um, view as necessarily appropriate as much these days, especially in the in the television series with the the voice acting and things. Um, yeah, it's uh, <clears throat> I guess it is what it is. It's of its age. Um, we shouldn't judge. I mean, obviously we know it's now not necessarily as as um, as appropriate, but it uh, yeah. It's still a. They're looking after a sick elephant. That's not the. You know, it's not. Not terrible. Anyway, um, and then of course we have the third. I'm sorry, the fourth, final story, with Idris the dragon. Um, so very Welsh, um, finding a dragon egg in a volcano, uh, and looking after it in Ivor's Ivor's firebox. Um, lots of. Um, lots of lovely things of like Idris the dragon singing with a Welsh a Welsh choir. Um, yeah, so. Um, yeah, I think that the main take home from this, if you've not seen either before, go watch the television series. If you can pick up one of the books with all the lovely pictures, um, even better. Uh, they are really, they really are um, gorgeous. Um, I've had this book out a lot recently, not because um, I mean I have I have read it to my eldest son recently, but not for that reason. I've had it out because, as you may have seen on the channel, um, I've been slowly working on a model of either. Uh, this is from a kit by uh, PH Designs. Um, 
and yeah so I've been using the book um, as a guide for just checking fit of, of parts and things and uh, but also trying to work out what colour um, to do the, the paintwork and things so trying to match the green um, as you can see it's not a it's not a perfect match um, some pages it matches better than others um, yeah I, I found that there's at least some pages where it's a really good it's quite a really good match um, especially under the you know sensible light um, and other pages where it's not so much uh, but I've also used the book for working out things like designing the wheels uh, and stuff um, as I say there'll be a there'll be a kind of deep dive I finished um, video into either uh, when I have finished him we're just onto the, the final painting and detailing now um, so hopefully that won't be that won't be too long um, before we before we get to that video at which point the, the book may well make a, a return um, but yeah so that's a uh, that's that's that, that's another as I say another book um, I wouldn't be without it I think it's a lovely I think it's a lovely book and as I say it reminds me of uh, of my childhood um, having the book read to me uh, flicking through it when I couldn't necessarily wasn't necessarily old enough to read the stories myself um, and watching the watching the TV programs um, so yeah as I say if you've not seen it or, or read the book um, go treat yourself uh, and find a copy of the find a copy of the videos <laughs>